back to the Lucky Paper Video YouTube page. We are doing another grid draft. We, maybe we should experiment with other draft formats, but this one is just so good for streaming and making videos because it's yeah. all face up. It's relatively condensed. Like we could do like a Minesweeper or a Quilt Draft, but that takes up like a whole table. It's like a whole thing. So we're going to stick with grid drafts for a little while until we find something better. And today we're drafting my Bun Magic Cube, which I will put the link in the show description. Pretty typical Power Maxi, Fair Max Cube. Nothing unfair, no reanimator, no combo. Everyone, no storm. No storm. Everyone's going to be playing aggro mid-ranger control, and you're going to be caring about tempo. You're going to be caring about value. That's how the cube is designed, and we have to roll to see who goes first. I think. Should we say first which row or column we each want, or should we leave? I think we both know. Should we seal it in an envelope? No. Okay, fine. Roll. See who gets to go first. 16's pretty I'm good. Pretty optimistic. Significantly above average. Wow. What are you going to say? Together take? we made a critical success. Yeah, that's what I wanted. I know. Dang it. Ugh, I wanted that. I haven't played uh, not green in this cube for a while, mostly just because we've done a lot of grid drafts of it, and five color green is good. Hmm. I think I'm going to... See, I already got one of my blood crypts, which is a shame, but I think I might just go here. Maybe I'll go here. Uh, you must choose. I love Burst Lightning. Burst Lightning is the card I want most. This is like, could be a fine blue-black start, but you just took essentially blue-black cards also. I'm going to do this. This is a little spicy. I'm going to do it, though. Sorry, other cards. Apparently that choice is easier than I thought it was. I thought there'd be some, some discussion there. but No. I like that. <laughs> All right, I'm up. All right, well, we went from a land heavy pack to a no land pack. But that's okay. So, mm, that's kind of hard still. Mm -hmm. I think I'm just supposed to take these two good black cards because I have Hive of the Eye Tyrant. And if Anthony wants to fight me for black, he can, I guess. Alternatively, Take Rebel Master Red and Six and try to go red green. I think Anthony's probably doing anything but green at this point, probably. It's still early. The thing is, it is very early. And even if I did take that, I just don't want to hand you Thoughtseize. So I'm going to have to go here. Sad. Thoughtseize, Red and Six, Valky, God of Lies. I'm trying to say them out loud so people that are watching that can't quite see the cards. Is this guy new? Relatively new. I think quite good, too. Hmm. I have no idea what I'm supposed to take here. I feel like I'm not especially interested in these. I could do some kind of control deck with Wrath of God. Solitude, I think, is also quite good. I have Red Lands. Good old Wrath of God Goblin Rival Master deck. Yeah, just nothing here. No choices fit into a clear space, I don't think, is the problem. I think I will take this, and we'll see what happens. I like that row. I think that's what you want. You should well, have something for a couple different good options there. You can either become a control deck, or you can become more of a like, tempo-y deck. You can go all kinds of ways with it. Mostly those two ways. Got all messed up. All right, you're up first, Anthony. Oh, that's my great Demir Signet again. You love to see it. Hmm. Interesting. Huh. So I feel like my options are pretty clearly either blue cards and a fixing land, which goes great with the fetches that are the shocks I already have, or just lean into white. But Spellbinder and Mentor, I don't think, or at least... I don't know how well those cards work together. I don't think I want Spellbinder and Wraths in the same deck. Could be wrong. Let's take some blue cards. All right. So this is a pretty easy, this row for me here. I would love to actually do a Jund thing, but I might just be, I'm taking Grist, Green Sun Zenith, and Demir Signet. I feel like I might end up just being black green here, it's possible, but I like Grist a lot. I think Grist was the best card in that pack, so I'm happy to get it. Happy to get it. All right. 
I'm up first. Ooh. I was about to say it's going to be hard to take me off this. Prismatic Vista and Nature's Lore. And then the pack went and got a little spicy. Hmm. 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 Does he hand you another fetch land? It feels bad. I disagree. Well, I'm always make you choose between fetch land and. All right, I'm gonna take prismatic vista, nature's lore, scrappy scrounger, which I know seem well, probably seems a little wild, and I think it is a little wild. Uh, but I really want the fixing of the ramp, and if I end up three colors, this might actually be a liability. Ancient two might be hard to play in my deck. And Flooded Strand does not fetch for any of my colors as of yet. And at least here, Amphi doesn't have an obvious pick, I don't think, where it's like, oh, this is a windmill slam for him. He either has to play an Ancient Tomb against what is shaping up to be perhaps a fairly proactive deck, or take some fixing and some stuff he probably won't play. Yeah, probably. I mean, ancient, ancient Tomb is pretty clearly the most powerful card here, but I am going to... Ooh, get burned, Ancient Tomb. Fetch. Somebody's going to be leaving comments on YouTube about how that was a huge mistake, and we're big freaking idiots. Yeah. I don't deny it. wonder if frickin' gets you demonetized. Nothing's monetized. All right. Uh, you're up first, Anthony. Wow. I, I want this whole pack for my deck. Yeah. Quite literally. I would play every single card in this pack in my deck. I feel like I just I could just take two more fetch lands. Uh, crazy, we're doing 18 packs. You can do however many you want. 18 is pretty typical from what I've seen. Um, I feel like it's a good balance in terms of getting the right amount of cards to be able to draft something a little more focused. If you go fewer, everybody ends up being three, four color pile. And if you go more, it can be a little overwhelming just to have so many cards to have to choose from when you're building your deck. I'm just, I'm just going to keep taking fetch lands. I don't have a plan yet. Fair enough, fair enough. Um. Yeah, that's really what I wanted. I know. Even though I said I'd play the whole pack, and I will, but that's what I really wanted. I like these gold cards I've got. Red and six, Gris, K Command. I'm feeling good about that. So I'm taking K Command, Overgrown Tomb, and Sinkhole. And then I'm up first here. I haven't taken a single off color card yet. That's actually, I think, kind of a bad sign. All right, I like being up first. I like getting a lightning bolt. That's great. Ooh, and a disfigure. Disfigure's not going to be good against you so much. How about the overgrown tomb, though? Mmm. Okay, this is hard. So lightning bolt is the best card for my deck in this pack. But is it better than get probe, disfigure, overgrown tomb? Disfigure being pretty minimal in terms of impact in this matchup, how it's shaking out. Just because I expect Anthony to be a control deck, probably will have planeswalker or big threats to close out games and I will not really be able to benefit from a disfigure. I think I really gotta prioritize fixing though. It's gonna make all my future picks better. Even if I'm missing a lightning bolt now. Yeah, I think I just gotta do that. And I'll play Git Probe very happily in any deck. Love to see it. Disfigure, Git Probe, and another overgrown tomb. Hmm. So I'm gonna need some cards that do stuff. Lightning Bolt is really what I want. Everybody loves Lightning let's just, Bolt. Let's just let's set out in this direction. Sorry, Lightning go. Bolt. All right, I can think of one card I really want to see in these packs. I don't think you're even going to take it from me if it comes up. All right, you're up first. Huh. So I'm not looking at these green cards. I think I'm probably looking over here. Grief is also pretty like appealing. It. Smuggler's Copter's looking like it's not actually going to be great in my deck, but... I mean, then again, we could just start taking black cards. We got a Polluted Delta, a Bloodstained Mire, and a Fetid Pools, and a Blood Crypt that can be fetched with the Flooded Strand... Yeah, I think we could just take these black cards. I feel like that makes me feel good yeah, about fixing is good. 
having cards that do stuff. I definitely can't blame you. All right, so here I'm definitely going to take Duress and Smuggler's Copter. Uh, Duress, I think, is very important against Anthony's deck. The kind of controlling deck is going to have big Planeswalkers, board wipes, stuff I need to get rid of. And then Smuggler's Copter is, I think, great in any proactive deck with creatures. And I'm also very happy to have a colorless card, which is going to take a little bit of the heat off my fixing, which could end up a little bit suspect, only because Anthony already has a fair number of cards I would be happy to play in my own deck. So we've seen a, we've seen a few of them already. Yeah, that was a good pack. All right, uh, I'm up first. Oh, man, fixing for Anthony, but not for me. Oh, no. All right. So I'm up first. None of these lands fix for any of the mana I need to fix for, though Godless Shrine could become relevant depending on what my fetch lands end up looking like at the end of the draft. Definitely not currently getting there on Dreadhorde Arcanist, but boy do I love the idea of getting there on Dreadhorde Arcanist in a little Jun deck. That brings me joy. And I like Hero's Downfall as removal against Anthony. Summon Library, I think, is maybe the best card here for me, actually, in this matchup. But it's one of those situations where I, I'm not going to be able to play Vivian in a three-color deck with grid draft fixing. And these cards are both not really playable for me. So I think Hero's Downfall, General Arcanist, outweighs Sylvan Library for me. So I'm going to go with these. Great. Also partially because I feel like, oh, yeah, I think she's going to take that for sure. But Yeah, I was going to be happy with... Uh, the Vindicate, I think, is very important to me, and also getting starting to get some uh, duels that I can fetch with my Timeless Dragon. All right, this is the last pack in the first half of the draft. So I think it's very easy to tell when you have made packs ahead of time. Oh, a scavenging Oh, no, ooze. my scavenging ooze. How embarrassing. Uh, would you like me to get you a scavenging ooze? Uh, if you want to. You're up first, Anthony. We'll see. If it ends up in a deck, I'll grab you one. That's a good pack. Huh. Uh, so, I don't think you're going to play Uro, which is mostly what I'm scared of. But you're going to get a bunch of... Yeah, I think you're just going to take Elves and Goose, probably. My Goose. Unfortunately, that's a hate draft that doesn't help me, really. And you still get something good out of this pack. So am I just taking, like, Whirler Rogue? Huh. All right. I don't know if this is right, but. Yeah, so here. All five of these cards are very playable for me, I think. If I had more fetches, I'd be more high on Death Rite Shaman. But importantly, this is Grid Draft. It's a zero-sum format. Anthony has quite a few fetch lands. So the chances that he will have a fetch land in his graveyard in the early turns of the game, not nothing. And I actually am not super high on Goose and Elves in this exact deck because I'm not really full on ramp. I'm more of a kind of value deck, and they are not very valuable cards. They're one mana, one ones. So I'm going to go here and get perhaps a little spicy with it, as the kids say. Oops. The kids don't say that. Plus, if I main deck the Scavenging Ooze, uh, Anthony will go get me one. <laughs> I'm waiting to pick up the, uh, the... I took it out of the cube to put in something else because I'm waiting to get the, the promo they're giving out right now, the old border promo. It's the Love Your Game Store. Yeah, Love Your Game Store promo. All right, I'm up first. I feel like I'm seeing all of Anthony's fixing lands, and I'm not taking... Gosh, dang it. All right, well, that settles it for me. I mean, I would love to hate on some of these fixing lands for Anthony and also perhaps get maybe a free blue splash. Uh, but instead, I'm going to take Domri, Bitter Blossom, and Unearth. Unearth, I think, particularly great with Grist, and I'm hoping to make that happen. That will bring me joy. Also, the harder I lean into black, the better my mana can be, though Domri and Ren and Six will be hard if I'm kind of splashing two colors, for sure. I am going to take this. Chrome Mox is a sad loss, but I'm trying to play a bunch of double pip cards, which that's right. probably the mistake. You're up first. Wow. Already a pretty good row for you, I feel like. Delta Remand. All right, give me something I can hate for you, from you. Murderous Cut. Uh, I am not at all, well, I'm not really set up for a recurring nightmare, so I think I'm going to happily take the cradle from no, you. Although you're not. No remand. That's not what I expected you to take. Well. 
All right, well, Oath of Nissa is really helpful here because I do have quite a few Planeswalkers and they're going to be in my splash colors. So I'm happy to get that. And I guess I'll probably play an Arbor Elf, though not enthusiastically. Well, I'm more likely to play an Arbor Elf or a Temple Garden. If I get a white fetch, that'll turn my white fetch into a green white or green black source, but I already have two overgrown tombs. Yeah, I don't need to do that. So I'm just going to take this. All right. I'm up first. Oh, yeah. Taking that row. You can't stop me. Oh, I'm definitely taking that row. Woo! All right. Fixing land. Fixing land. And Assassin's Trophy is exactly what this deck ordered. I'm doing it. Or am I doing it? I just don't know. What'd you take? Just say uh, out languish and oust. That's good. That's a lot of... Yeah, Recurring Nightmare Grist is pretty good, but I already have other ways to get it back in the form of Unearth. So I'm not missing that too much. All right. You're up first, Anthony. Hmm. Got a little tiny Teth and a wow. Brainstorm. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Luris is also actually not that good in my deck. Okay, great. It's hard to make Luris work in control decks. It can happen sometimes. Like if your win conditions are, well, you can't do Shark Typhoon because it's permanent. I mean, you uh, can still just put it in your deck. Yes, you can just put it in your deck, but uh, I wouldn't recommend it. I need a Scalding Tarn, and I think I like the Earthshaker Kenra, and I will probably just do a main deck non-companion Luris tier, probably. I guess it depends on my, how my deck shakes out. You wouldn't recommend it. I think I'm going to do it. <laughs> in a control deck, okay. I mean. Uh, I think Grist and Domri... Well, maybe not, honestly. With how, with how the deck draft's going right now, I will just play this as a companion, I think. Uh, maybe that will change with how the rest of the picks go. It would be a shame to not play Grist and Domri. But the rest of my cards are all lurisable. All right, I'm up first. So far, not much for me. Okay. So Fire Covenant would be good in my deck, but not good against Anthony, importantly. So I'm not going to fall for that trap. I think Soulscar Mage and Plague Engineer are both very playable here. And I think Anthony will probably play Clarion Spirit, though. And you have Red Vixen, so you're definitely going to play Rip Apart. So yeah, I think this is my pick. Uh, Plague Engineer, Soulscar Mage, and get this Clarion Spirit away from Anthony. All right, so I want that Force of Negation. Probably. Hard to say. Hard to say. Do I want Unexpectedly Absent or Rip Apart? Am I committing to just playing? Yeah, we'll, we'll find a red mana here or there. I think Rip Apart is really good in your deck and very good against me. All right, only four packs left. I would love to see a... Uh, Stopping ground, that's what I was going to say. All right, hopefully it doesn't take it from me. We'll see. Ooh, ooh, this pack, though. This pack is the spicy. What are you going to take, Anthony? I mean, I can't let you have Ragavan and Jite. Right? Right. No way. I don't blame you. Do I just... Do I splash Ragavan? <laughs> Ragavan has seen play in some control decks, and it's been fine. I'm taking uh, Young Pyromancer, Stomping Ground, Tywis Tracker, mostly for that Stomping Ground, which I feel like I desperately need yeah. to make all my previous picks playable. I would have happily taken Ragavan, though. Ragavan's great fixing. People don't say that enough. All right, I'm up first. Three packs left. All right, so what do I like here? I don't like double red or double green spells with my mana base. So I think I'm just taking Dismember Cast Down. Maybe I'll get there in a Season Pyromancer. Maybe? But honestly, not likely. It's a lot of creature removal for Anthony's deck, honestly. He don't have, doesn't have a lot of creatures. Anthony might be more afraid of Ranger Class, quite honestly. Given that he's a more controlling deck. 
But if I don't take this removal, he'll just play it because he's playing black. And I will have a problem beating these things. So I got to take these. Yeah, you're not wrong. So it doesn't leave me with a lot of options. I already have currently Mother of Runes in the pool, and it's not looking... I would like to not be playing it, but we'll see. Council's Judgment is fine. Two packs left. I felt like Council's Judgment is just solidly fine. Like, not great. <laughs> All right, you're up first here. Ooh. A P-Mist? Ooh, a Snapdaster Mage? What is? What even is that? That's a Battle, Battle Cry, Cry Goblin. Goblin. That also, I, Mark has one for me. I had to go pick it up from the shop. I have not been down since I got back from vacation. All right, well, I'm, I'm sorry about the bad proxies. I'm a bad, bad man. Threats, so I feel like I really, really need Primordial Mist. Really? Yeah. I would be so enthusiastic about taking that Snapcaster Mage. Yeah. And a Ballista? I mean, yeah. that's very solid, but I think... I think I'm gonna make my choice. You can make. You can play the mist. I guess your win conditions right now are what? They're like nothing. <laughs> they're no. Yeah, you, you have shark typhoon. Like honestly, like what I want control decks to be able to win with here is like shark typhoon, uh, dragon, and did you get secure the waste? You didn't get secure the waste, right? I did not get secure the waste. Yeah, you got plenty of win conditions. I'm gonna take stomping ground again. Need my mana to be okay, and I get a dragon's rage channeler for my trouble. And a Temple Garden, which I currently actually probably can play. We'll see. All right, last pack. Yeah, I mean, that's. Um, I'll, I'll be honest. I, I will try to win and try and play all the kinds of cards, all the archetypes to win. But uh, uh, blue, blue counter magic is not my strong suit. <laughs> all right, this is me now. Oof, a doofa. You're going to get handed some stuff here, buddy. So I would like for my deck very much, please, Bone Crusher Giant, Dark Confidant. I would play a Noble Hierarch, but I'm not in blue or white, so it's not ideal here. It's just kind of a exalted Llanowar Elf, which is fine. Both Bone Crusher Giant and Dark Confidant are card advantage. I think you have a fair bit of removal, so I don't think I think you can just remove. Dark Confident Knife, it's going to be a problem for you. But I like forcing you to have the removal. Whereas Bone Crusher Giant, I don't think I'm going to need... I don't think there's going to be much for me to point that stomp at in your deck. So, given all these things I just said, I'm going to take this row to get my Dark Confident and hate you off of Baleful Strix. You still get a Master of Death if you want it. Yeah, that said, uh, uh, Baleful Strix would have helped this a lot. Would have brought the room together. I think with Master Death and Thought Scour, I can cut some of these other cheap cards that are not going to shine here. All right, that is our grid draft. All right, I'm going to uh, I'll do I'll do a deck building cam. Why not? Do you want to grab me a scavenging unit? Is that easy for you to find? I have one sitting on my desk. Hey, even better. I'll give it back in uh, like three days. Where are you building? All right, well Anthony's gone. Let's build our sick deck and trick him with all of our cool spells we include. Um, so my mana ended up solidly fine. If you listened to the second to most recent episode of Lucky Paper Radio, you will know that I'm not happy about this mana base, given that I'm trying to play three colors. So first of all, my Arid Mason and Scalding Charm are only two fetches, and I don't get black, and that's very bad. I really needed to get a Blood Crypt for this to work, and instead I got double Stomping Ground, double Overgrown Tomb. This is a downside of... A downside of playing... Um, of grid draft. You just don't get to see as many cards. Sometimes it just happens, which is a bummer. So, little shaky on the mana. Let's see if I can get down to playing mostly just a black deck and then splash for my other cards because that would be where I'd be more comfortable given the fixing I got. I mean, eight non basics is not bad, but the fetch problem is real. So, that's going to be an issue. All right, I like Hive of the Eye Tyrant. I love this Duress in this matchup. I don't love Disfigure in this matchup. I do love Thoughtseize here. This is going to be good. He actually didn't have very many Planeswalkers, I noticed. Which just happens sometimes. It's always black cards first. I do think Hero's Downfall is probably worth it. Probably. I'm going to play Mr. Confidant. 
I'll start playing cast down. We'll see how that goes. Like Plague Engineer, can I just companion as Luris? That's the first question to answer, I guess. Let's try. Yeah, good point, Oka. That's I think the first thing I should figure out is if I can actually reasonably companion Luris, which if I can, I probably should do, especially in a sort of grindy controlling matchup. I'm not thrilled about playing this cast down or hero's downfall here, though I guess Anthony's threats are primarily creatures at the end of the day. It just doesn't feel good to like hero's downfall primordial mist token, for example. That feels god-awful. All right, I do think I really like Young Pyromancer here. I think that got there. Soulscar Mage is probably good, at least in this matchup. Oh, you have the fancy one. I have the fancy one. Wow, look at that. I haven't been down to the shop to pick them up yet. I will return it when I get mine. Or I'll give you mine. One of the two options. Do you, did you already buy one? You can just have that one. You don't want your own? I mean, I kind of do, but... Uh, all right, so let's see. I do like Burst Lightning, however, which is good. I think Dragon Raid's Channeler is going to get there. Aggressive one drop seemed good. I think this is barely enough for me to be happy trying to play a Dreadheart Arcanist. I don't have any equipment. But if I get to double Thoughtseize or double Duress or any of these other things, that's probably good enough. And I'm definitely going to play this sinkhole, I think. All right, that's fine. Here's red cards I'm not playing. And then green stuff. I like Oath of Nyssa, even though it's better early than late. Um, do you play Green Sun Zenith with just Grist and Scavenging Ooze in your deck? I think you kind of do, honestly. I think you kind of do. It's the other perfect fixing for this nature's lore. I feel like I should, it's, it's tough for green to be your splash color or your one of your lighter colors when you're trying to use it to fix your mana because you're not lucky to have the green early to then fix for your mana. But sometimes you will. I like that. I always like a taxing probe. Where'd my gold cards go? Oh, they're over here. All right, here's the good stuff. This is what we need. Gonna need that Assassin's Trophy for sure. I think we play this Deathrite Shaman. Play this K Command. Ren and Six in my deck with only three fetch lands. And Anthony and Alcade have any targets for the down tick is pretty rough. On the other hand, it's just a two mana. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking, James. On the other hand, it's just a two mana thing that upticks to threaten to kill you. I don't play Green Sun Zenith if I don't have Grist in the main deck, if I end up companioning Lurus. What are we at now? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 25, but that's getting pretty skimpy on playables, honestly. So if we instead main deck Lurus, then we get access to Domri, Grist, which makes Green Sun Zenith a lot better. Ren and Six. Tireless Tracker. And we could try and play Season Pyromancer. I don't think we're going to. I don't think we're going to play Season Pyromancer. And I do think Oath of Nyss is pretty suspect with my green fixing. Honestly, so is Scavenging Use. All right, I know I said I was going to try and make Dreadhead Arcanist work, but I don't think we got there. Dreader Arcanist is going to go, if this is what the deck looks like. And so is Nature's Lore. Because we're really low to the ground. And green is one of our lighter colors. Similarly, I got to cut Oath, just because green is a light splash. It's going to make it easier to cast something like Domri, but I don't need the green already to get to play the Oath to cast Domri, so that's not helping me a whole lot. Green Sun Zenith, I can do on... The green sun is really good now because I can do a one, two, or a th couple threes, which I really like. Yeah, feels bad not companioning, but I think I have to. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. 
All right, so given how we made these cuts, I'm going to go a little less aggressive and a little more just like value proactive, if that's a thing, which I think means Scrongo Beepis is going to get cut. That's what I call Scrap Heap Scrounger. Soul Scar Mage. It's really good to have a one drop against Anthony, but I only have like three. It's not going to be a consistent game plan. I think more what I want to do against him turn one is hit him with a hand hate spell, ideally, into a high value two drop. I'm going to sneak peek at his deck. Yeah, I don't think Hero's Downfall is going to do basically anything for us here. I can use it to kill like a Lily, but like he's got these cheap Planeswalkers that don't have a huge amount of loyalty that I should be able to just attack and kill. In theory. But does Hero Downfall do more than Cast Down does? I have Ball Lightning and Magmatic Sinkhole for Planeswalkers. I'm not worried about that. Also Assassin's Trophy. I think I'm also going to cut this Cast Down, honestly. I'm just going to try and go big. Yeah, we all want to see Tibble come down. That's the, that's the dream. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 23, 24. All right, 24 feels good in terms of how many lands versus non-lands I want to be playing, though I'm not going to be thrilled about the number of sources this is going to afford me. What is this card I took out of that sleeve, just in case? I don't, okay, good. I got some decent sideboard options, though. I saw his whole draft, so... I don't know what I'd be citing into unless I made a horrible deck building error, which is entirely possible. Do I play Temple Garden as a green source and also a way to cast Lurus? It's getting pretty greedy. Hmm. Boy, I wish I had a uh, Blood Crypt. That would be, that'd be great. I don't like to play as Temple Garden. I don't think it'll be necessary. All right, uh, let me demonstrate my ridiculous uh, mana base technique that I talked about on the podcast now. So I have two, three color sources. These are all stomping grounds, essentially. Four red green sources and two black green sources. So these are all green sources. So I've got eight green sources. There's only four black sources. So I'm going to take four swamps and there's six red sources. So I'm going to take four swamps, two mountains to start. Let me go do that and then think about my life. All right, so I'm going 16 lands with these four swamps and two mountains. That brings me to eight sources of every color, which is not awful. And I'm going to have two more land slots to fill, right? Because that's eight lands plus six. So I got two more land slots to fill. And I think, honestly, I need a single forest for Prismatic Vista. I don't have any double green spells, though, so that's fine. So I just got to go forest swamp for my last two lands. And that's my deck. Anthony, tell the people what you're doing while I've been over here doing my whole thing. Uh, I don't feel very confident in this deck. It's kind of just an Esper control mess, but we're going to see what happens. We have lots of removal. We have board wipes. We have some win conditions, some counter spells. Uh, I would be excited to cast a, or eternalize a timeless dragon. And I have a lot of fetch lands. I'm also going to be splashing for shatter skull smashing because I have plenty of fixing. That's it. Easy. Get my tokens real quick. The hive as a land. Oh right, I need to craft the hive as a land. I didn't see that. What's the hive? I have a uh, hive in the eye tower over here. Oh, hive in the eye tower. Add that one last swamp. Yep.
feel like the biggest challenge for me is I just have a lot of double pip cards. I don't know if I'll, I have enough cheap interaction, so we'll find out. Get some clues. The optimistic can get a lot of clues. Optimistic. It happened last time. Alright, emblem, emblem. Then just need a memento. Alright, this is the kind of deck I'm very excited about in my cube these days, but it is a grid draft version of it that's a little bit sus on fixing. I mean, I ended up with 10, 9, 8 in terms of my sources, which is not the worst. I do have a couple of card draw can cantrippy things, but I prefer better, as we know from... Everyone's favorite podcast, where I talk about drafting lands. Limited resources? Limited resources. I try to listen to other magic podcasts, but I just I want to listen to dumb comedy instead. Yeah, I listen to more food and comedy than magic, but there are a bunch that I listen to pretty consistently. I listen to a lot of podcasts. I have been mainlining backlog episodes of Bunta Vista. Yeah, I was listening to one of those this morning. It's pretty good. Did you get any of the Theo Files episodes? No. It's just Theo and Ben trying to make each other laugh. Mm -hmm. It's good. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Shall we do a high roll? Yeah. I will go first. I bet you will. Let me do a quick count just because that deck building was a little bit harried. So I'll make sure I got 40... Perfect. I never doubted myself. All right. Let's get a good opening hand with all of our mana, everything we love to see. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'm going to keep this opener. I think it's fine. This will be, I won't be able to cast this on curve unless I choose to not cast that, which I'm always going to do. So that's a bit of a downside. But other than that, I think his hand is fine. I'm keeping Anthony. OK. I will also keep this hand. It doesn't do a whole lot, but it's got spells and it's got lands. I think we'll give it a try. All right. Are you ready for magic? I'm ready. I'm going to begin by paying... Oh, wait. Name our decks. Go ahead. What are you going to name yours? It's going to involve Esper, and I'm trying to figure out how self-deprecating I want to be. Don't be self-deprecating. That's not fun. Esper Control. Uh, I have deck names in the... Uh... I have deck names in the overlay, so so people can tell when they, if they tune in later on what's going on. Just use can call it Esper Control. Fine. Yeah. You can have good deck names. Mine's just Jund, Jund, Jund. Jund. All right. 
I'm going to begin by uh, paying two life to get to Axiom Probe you. Oh, no, but now you get to see my shameful hand and judge me for my mistakes. This is fine. What's wrong with this hand? Oh, excellent. I feel a lot better. Thank you. That's a great hand. Great. Wow. So Positive reinforcement goes such a long way. Huh. Yeah. All right. That's fine. I'll play a Prismatic Vista. I'll crack it going to 17. Okay. To get a swamp. And then I'll thought seize you. Push. Am I at 15 after the first? Oh, switch view. Thank you. I'm at 15 after the first turn because everything's good and cool. Um, I'm going to take. I, think I was thinking you about can it take one of my lands. I can take one of your lands, effectively. It's not really a red source, though, and you have no red spells in hand, so I'm definitely not taking that. I think. I'm just going to take Shark Typhoon here. I wish you wouldn't. Yeah. And then I will say go. Untap, upkeep, draw. I will play a Watery Grave and say go. I'll untap. I'll draw. Plan Arid Mesa. Pass the turn. Untap. Hand would have been more insane, Oko, if I had had stupid blood crypts. What's the chance that I actually cast the Shatter Skull Smashing? I don't know. Don't ask me. I think, well, I am going to be able to afford to get a second red source if I draw fetch land. Hmm. Um, I don't have a great reason, Oko, other than I feel like three mana removal is fine against me, whatever. Play a planes and pass. Um, I guess you could argue, based on the cards in my hand, that's not what I should be doing. Uh, right on time, card. Right on time. Um, and he also knows my deck and knows that I have not a ton of win conditions. Yeah, I just felt like I was taking, you know, it's a two for one. I felt like I was taking two things from him. I was taking a creature with flying and taking a card. All right. It's also, you know, the thing that I could actually do. Play a swamp. I'm going to crack this Arid Mesa. I should have done this on end step. I just was mm -hmm. not thinking because that's stupid. I got a stomping ground. Good to 12. Ah, lol. And then I'm just going to play out this Lurus. Uh, sure. And pass the turn. I'll pick up these cards. Yeah, you don't have to. Draw a card. Play a fiery islet and say go. I'll untap. I will draw. Go to combat. Yep. Every three with lifelink. Yeah, I'll take three. I go to fifteen. You go to seventeen. No fetches, no shocks so far yet for you. Uh, I gotta keep doing this, I guess. All right. Play a mountain. Mm-hmm. Play Ren and Six? Yeah. I will uptick getting my Prismatic Vista back. No. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get a Prismatic. No, I'll get an Arab Mesa. I'm getting an Arab Mesa back. I changed my mind. All right, Arab Mesa. And then I will pass. Okay. Draw a card. Oh, interesting. Uh, that's an interesting point. Is it, You could argue I didn't need to Thought Seize there, and I could have done that later. I don't hate that line. Hmm. I feel like I put myself in a weird spot. Can I just let you 
do this all day. No, it's fine to backseat. I might ignore you if I'm trying to stay in the game, but uh, don't take it personally. 16. Uh, I will vindicate running six. Yeah, that would be the argument for doing that for sure would be. Play a steam vents tapped and say go. Now this line I don't understand from Anthony. I will draw. I'll attack. Oh, for right, because you can just recast it. Oops, I'm just an idiot. Uh, I'll take three. I'll play red and six. Yeah. I will play an arid mesa mm -hmm. and crack it. All right, when you go to 13, I'll go to 18. And then I go to 17. I'm just going to get a uh, mountain with arid mesa. Boop. And then I'm going to uptick and get the Prismatic Vista back. Yeah. And then I'll pass. Draw. Yeah, I'm happy for you all to talk about better lines in the chat. I may or may not be able to pay attention. But I think it's part of the fun of magic. Very casual magic, at least. This is definitely casual because I can't pay attention to everything while I'm playing on stream. I'm not feeling, uh, I'm not doing a great job here. Let's path your All right. Luris. It's exiled. I go get a basic. I get a forest. And pass the turn. It comes into play tapped, right? Otherwise, it would be really good to path your own thing. Yeah. I don't know if it'd be really good. Really, really good. All right. Uh, I will untap. And draw. Cards in hand? Yeah. Five. How am I gonna? The I'm answer gonna is red one. and six cards in hand. Yeah. I'll play Grist. Yikes. Does this resolve? It does. I will uptick Grist to make the pest. Which I swear I got. Where'd I put it? Did I put it in the pile over there? One moment. Make it a pest. And then I'm gonna uptick red and six, getting back arid mesa. Play Hive of the Eye Tyrant tapped. Mm -hmm. And pass a turn. <laughs> I don't love it, but I think I have to do this. Taking one. Twelve. And smash grist. Yeah, I mean... Seems and important. pass the turn. Grist down. I will then untap. Draw. Play a prismatic vista. Animate high by the eye tyrant. Yeah. I will attack. Trigger, Exile... You didn't get Snapcaster, right? I didn't. I don't think you have any ways to do anything with stuff in your graveyard specifically then. Let's take the uh, Smashing. You take three. I'll take three. Put you to nine. Smash Grist Kinky. <laughs> uh, <laughs> then I will... I played the Prismatic Vista already. I'll crack this Prismatic Vista for a basic land. Okay. That I think I still have. I have one, two. Oh, two left. Good to know. I'll get a swamp. Go to 16. And then I'll uptick to get that Prismatic Vista back. 
and then play a Soulscar Mage. Sure. And pass the turn. Hmm. That almost seems better. Almost. Play a Primordial Mist. Yeah, that's pretty good. Go to my end step, trigger manifest, and say go. All right, I'll untap. I will draw. You're at nine. I'm at nine. And your hive has menace, is that correct? Hi, Lamem. Have a good weekend. A hive does have menace, yes. Yeah. <laughs> FMK Grist Red and Six Domri. Uh, I don't want to answer that. I don't want to think about that. Hmm. Grist seems reliable. I think that'll be a fine long term game plan if I do that. All right. Let's um, animate my little friend over here. Go to combat. Yeah. Send these two at you. Attacking with a Soul Scar Mage. I mean, this is here to block. Let's block. I'm almost just dead if I don't. You have stuff to do. I'll burst lightning you. Trigger prowess. Sure. That puts me to seven, and four. then you take three, go to four. Uh, and this was part of my deck. Oh, yeah, you burst lightning me. Yeah, so, yep. And I have one more basic left, I said. So I'll play this Manic Vista, mm -hmm. track it for a swamp, and I'll uptick uh, my friend Red at six to get it back. So I go to 15. And I will pass the turn. Draw. And uh, die to Hive plus. You get back Burst Lightning next turn, right? Yeah, even if you... You basically have to get rid of Ran 6 that turn. Otherwise, yeah. I get Burst Lightning back every turn. Yeah, it is as not. As many times as I want, because I've got four lands in hand. To just I did keep not play it, them. a skillful game of Magic there. I think it was definitely a mistake to not Vindicate yeah. the Lurus. Yeah. But other than that, well, I mean, uh, I was hoping just to be able to. I thought I had more time and could get more value out of uh, a wrath, but language. obviously, yeah, that didn't that, that didn't make any sense. I think, I think when I know about it, that's, and also that that's yeah. kind of the tiebreaker. That was a pretty that was pretty backbreaking. You knowing my whole hand there. Yeah, it's important in the chat that maybe I should have just after thought seizing and seeing your hand, just been like, or after get, get probing rather and seeing your hand, right? Just not even by thought seizing because I could have forced through a turn to red and six and probably still found black in time to um thought sees the vindicate away right and then just be all in on i'm going to ultimate this red and six and draw yeah. cards <laughs> one's a bunch of bugs one's a teenager one's a tree that's right james you're canceled this is the FBI. Open up. All right, you going first? I like trees, and I like bugs. Uh, I'm going first. Show us your hand. This is dubious. Um, what I might not have told you is I am playing 18 lands because I'm trying to hit all these double pips, and we're going to keep this. We'll get lucky. All right. And my hand... which I am also going to keep. It's a little bit clunky with this and this. It's a little bit of a shame. I'm just gonna not worry about that. I'm gonna focus on getting this on curve, I think, depending on what Anthony's first two turns look like, because I can just go this into this. Yeah, it's gonna be fine. I like this hand. I think it's good. All right. Get him, Anthony. Pass. Ooh, a tap land. Does that change my plans? All right, I will draw. Mountain. Soul Scar Mage. Yep. 
pass the turn. Untap. Draw. Oof. So I've got some things I can do. I think the right thing to do is to play this Steam Vents. Ooh, reset life totals. I remembered. Before anyone mentioned it. You're at 18 now, right? And pass the turn. Oh, God. One sec. I do really like Hive of the Eye Tyrant. That card has been good. I will draw. Yeah, I mean, you probably have something you're doing over there, but... Whatever. Shock in an overgrown tomb. Okay. So we're both at 18. Cast a random six. Trigger prowess. I guess I will hard cast a daze. Yeah, seems good. All right. In for two. I'll take two. Put you to 16. I did not expect I was walking into hard cast days, I gotta be honest. Uh, and I will pass the turn. Untap. Draw. Mm. I guess I'm pretty likely not to fail on that. I finally got to play with Renin 6. It's been in my cube for so long, I don't think I myself have ever actually cast it. This is a thrill, and I love it. Brainstorm? Yeah, baby. You got a lot of fetch wins in there, too. Great. Boo -doo 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 -doo, doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh man, brainstorm's hard. I love that card. Foils keep getting more and more out of my price range. So sad. Steam vents. Ooh, untapped. Push it to fourteen. Pass turn. All right, another hard cast days. <laughs> okay. Yep, I drafted two. Draw a card. Play a swamp. Cast a Domri Anarch of Bolas. No response. Trigger prowess. Yep. I will uptick Domri to make a mana and do nothing with mm -hmm. it. And then I will attack you for three. Yep. Do 11. And say go. <laughs> I'll play in cycle. Mm. Do I actually just get basic planes? No. Oh, shoot. I didn't get the land that I really needed. Sometimes getting basics is great with fetches. Yeah. I didn't get a black white shock land. Mm, I got my Godless Shrine over here. I know. I I'll know, trade I you a Godless you. Shrine for a Blood Crypt. Okay, here you go. So yeah, I'm going to get a basic planes because I don't need more blue sources. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Untap. Now you can eternalize it. Well, actually, you turn. only have one white source, so you can't eternalize Big Dragon yet. I can't. See? See what the, you know, having good mana is important? I don't know if you ever thought about that. No, I don't think about magic much. I remember the last time someone played 18 lands in my cube. That's very exciting to me. And it's it still feels like not enough. But let's play this Master of Death. Hey, that's a cool card. I'll surveil too. Yeah. Pleasant lineup. Oh, if I wish I had my red in six now, that would be great. Surreal on cubes hard. It's just like, wow, all these cards are great. Both on top. 
A O uh yeah. Pass. All right. You got it. I will untap. I will draw. That kind of settles it, huh? I guess I really should have cracked the Bloodstained Mire first because I actually only lose flexibility by not doing it separately. It's a good thing to learn. Yeah. Yeah. Mistakes. I don't want to... Uh, meh. I don't want to do that. I think I will, though. All right. No, this can't be right. That feels awful. Hold on a sec. Let me think. This Master of Death is a real problem, actually. I'll play High by the Eye Tyrant tapped. And then I can't imagine, well. I guess there's no reason not to do this on uptick. So pay a black, uptick. Play Valky. Sure. So I feel like you've got more creatures out of your hand, but. Shark, Typhon, and Languish. Yeah, and Vindicate. That's a, that's a hand. All right. That's a thing. Uh, then I will just pass the turn. Untap. Draw. Yeah, I'm, I messed that surveil way up. Did not think about yeah, so nice. many things. Just shuffle whenever you want. Well, the problem is I really want that card right now. Oh, that's why you... Well, if you wanted it, there's no way around it if you had to fetch. Like, what I should have done is fetch first and then also oh, thought about surveilling. Sure. what I could have done to double spell this turn. Because now I put myself in a pretty bad spot. Play a planes. I think that this card feels very good. I gotta say. Yeah. I was like, oh, I can remove it. Mm, wait, I don't want to remove it. Oh, I don't even have double black now. Man. Well, you have let's say Mario can get a black source. Surely. Right. Right. So if you want to draw that card on top of your library, but I guess I don't actually need How that card. How good can that card be? I guess I don't card actually need that card. I'll crack the bloodstained mire. You're big on hard casting shark typhoons. That's a weird thing about you. That's what it's for, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I agree that there's a lot of power in the fact that you can uh, cycle it, but also, like, modality is good because if you have other stuff you can do, like, it's not powerful to just cycle it. Let's just get a basic. So I lose one. Right, but am I wrong in thinking you had a fair number of turns here where you didn't do anything with your mana? Am I wrong about that? Maybe. Maybe not. I, I can't remember now. Uh, did you take one from my life total? No, you're at 10. Great. There's no reason to attack. Uh, I'll languish. Yep. That makes sense. That's only going to get worse now that you know about it. And say go. All right, I'll untap. I will draw a card. That card's kind of a bummer to draw, I'm not going to lie. Play a Swamp. Animate Hive. Yep. Attack for four. Yep. Exile Master of Death. Oh, yeah, that's pretty relevant. Deal six. You're down to six. Actually, I guess I could have. Let me just uptick and use one of those mana to sure. activate the Hive, if that's all right with you. And say go. Man, Hive of the Eye Tyrant has been an MVP. Got my rent in six days. That was a bummer. I love that card. Uh, I'll vindicate your Hive. Yeah. That's and definitely the thing I would vindicate too. Pass the turn. Even though I've got a planeswalker upticking in play. I will untap. I will draw. 
All right, deck. This is not this is not fun and cute anymore, deck. Play a stomping ground tapped. Play a smuggler's copter. Sure. And pass the turn. Oh, uptick this from nothing. Obviously, I guess I could have uptick to cast a thing. Play smart, Ambi. Stop being a dummy. Yeah, I don't love this deck. I really did myself a disservice by not having a Godless Shrine. <laughs> it's important. That's why I have three of each shock in the yeah. cube, is because it's so important to end up with them, I think. I would love to have three cycles of fetch lands and two cycles of shocks, but I feel like too often in a situation where, like, I didn't get my Blood Grip, you didn't get your Godless Shrine. Yeah. I know this is a grid draft, but still, they are pretty fought over in regular draft, too. Pass. Still no double white. That's your limiting factor here. Right. Untap. Draw a card. Heck off, deck. Just heck right off. Play a tap stomping ground. Mm -hmm. Uptick. Pass the turn. Pass the turn. Sometimes you get flooded in your 15 and a half land deck. It happens. I will cycle a shark typhoon. How big of a shark does that make? Three. A 3-3 three, three shark. I lost the sharks. Oh, you put them up here. I'll get them. Okay. Uh, and then I'll untap. I'll draw a card from the cycle. Let's never forget that. Yeah. Because we're figuring it's out tokens. To it untap. Thing. Draw for turn. Does it actually get counters, or it just is a 3-3? Three, three? It just is, I think, unfortunately. So do I want to cast you have two cards in hand? Two cards. Tome just makes things fight. His down tick is yeah, target creature fights, target creature you don't control. Target creature you control. You can't make two things of your opponent's control. Fight. I'll go to combat. Uh-huh. Attack you for three. Go to fifteen. Play Liliana. Mm -hmm. Plus one. Make us both discard. Yep. All right, I'm going to respond to that. Okay. Two to the. To the activation. Okay. I'll dismember the shark token. You're going to discard your last card. Okay. And then I'll Magmatic Sinkhole, Lily. Exiling three things, four things. And I'll keep Ren and Six in my graveyard, I guess, for if I draw. I'll cast Ooh, Force of Negation, Exiling Fairy. Look at you go. All right. And then we discard a card. I have no cards left to discard. Which of these cards? Let's just get rid of Wrath of God and say go. All right. I think this is a pretty decent position for me. You have one card in hand. One card. All I have to do is draw a creature, beat the shit out of Lily. Oh, I can't cast Force of Negation. Not you. True. Sorry. Thank you, James. This is why we... I hate that card. <laughs> uh, okay. So let's roll it back. This on Lily is dead. I have no other response. Teferi is still in my hand. What did I spend two mana on? Unclear. I just like tap some lands, maybe? Because I just panicked. Just, just panicked. I'm just freaking out. Man, it's not my day for magic. So, okay, that resolves. This is dead. You delved a bunch, and then I must discard a card, and I will still discard Wrath of God. And say go. I'm actually not sure if that's even worse for you. It's unclear to me. Untap. Draw. Love to draw Prismatic Vista. I will pass. Okay. Untab. White source. Oh, let's uptick this one. Nothing. 
can't imagine it's ever going to matter. James, we, could, we should pay you to be our judge. Yeah. For real. Pay you in cube meals. Oh, thought scour myself. Yeah, baby. Draw a card. Play a polluted delta. Mm -hmm. Crack it. Mm -hmm. Go to five. Mm -hmm. Get a hollowed fountain. Untapped? Untapped. So you can make a dragon token? So I can make a dragon? All right. You're three. Going to need some dragons. I mean, dragon token's a problem for me. You know what I've got. Uh, do you have this dragon token? No, I don't think it exists. It does exist. It does exist? We're going to put that there with a the corpse counter. How's that? Pretty sure I don't have it. I can check after this game. And I'll say go. I will crack this prismatic vista. I got to okay. thin that deck, baby. Forest. All right, so you got four four dragon token. Five five dragon. No, it's eternalized. Oh, it's eternalized. It's a four four. Thank you. This I remember being confused about this last time we played this card. All right, I will draw. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Hell Swamp yeah. go. Take my thing on nothing. Untap. Is ridiculous. Draw one. Play a fiery islet. Two. Crack the fire islet. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Go to combat. Attack you for four. Now I'm waiting for the burst lane. That'll be a good draw. I'm excited about that one. Do I even? Yeah. Uh, to ferry. Uh huh. Plus one. Mm -hmm. Oh, I screwed up so bad. I'm so mad. Uh, pass turn. What'd you do on this turn to screw up? I'll draw. I mean, it's not nothing. After so many turns of drawing nothing, I'll play a young pyromancer. Yep. Crew is Mulgrave's copter. Yeah. Attack for four. Yeah. And you got it because I draw discard. Tap my mana wrong, so I couldn't use the white spell in my hand. Bummer, dude. Yeah. Was your white spell oust? Yeah. Is that a sorcery? Oh, that would have been so cool. Right. I'm sorry. I'm not on my game today. That would have been so cool. Yeah, you and me both, buddy. I missed all those mimic mimic that lines. Yeah. Well. Can can you bounce copter with the fairy? Hmm. Did, could you very bounce copter? Yeah, it can, it can bounce an artifact. Should I have just done that? Seems good. Uh, I was like if sort of, if sort of attack, thinking, I, mean, I was sort of thinking about the oust line. It also just draws then, you a card. I mean, it's like, right, a, right. Probably better than, I guess, if, yeah, you should have done one or the other. Either kept oust up or yeah, bounce yeah, copter. Yeah. Oof. Learning. We're, we're, we're not playing so a lot, bounces, but we're learning. He bounces non land permanents? It's artifact, creature, or enchantment. Not planeswalkers. He can't bounce Not planeswalkers. Walkers. Yeah, sorry guys. Thank you for all the uh, telling me what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> oh boy, we've been off. We've been off streaming for a week. It's also so hard to play on the stream. Do you want to play more games with these decks, or do you want to play a different cube, or do you want to play? Oof. What do you want to do? Are you just tired? I'm a little tired. Are you gonna call it a day? I might. I might call it a day. We're gonna call it. We're gonna call it a day, folks. We're gonna end the YouTube stream, the YouTube video there. Uh, Jund got there. Thanks in part to mistakes on all sides. That's an important part of magic too. People make mistakes. And yeah, see you next time. As long as uh, you like and subscribe. Like like and like and subscribe. Smash smash the bell.